everybody. I'm going to take you through a HIIT workout today. There are going to be HIIT workouts happening throughout the week, so make sure you join in and you have a go. So the way it's going to work, I'm going to take you through the exercises. We're going to have five exercises. You're going to work for 40 seconds. You're going to have a 20 second break, and then we're going to repeat that three times. So five exercises, you get a mini break in between for about two minutes, and then we're going to repeat those three times. We're going to start off by doing a little bit of a warm up and I'm going to take you through all the exercises so you know the technique and you know how to get on. The main things you need are some water, so make sure you've got a water bottle. We need the chair or a sofa or something you can lean on for later on and you also need to make sure you have a flat surface or a mat in which you can sit on. Something at home like a carpet, as long as it's supported and flat, will be absolutely fine. So let's start off a little bit of a warm up. So all I'm going to ask you to do nice and slowly is just a little bit behind knees. Trying to get the heart rate up. Obviously get yourself moving. Not sure how much you guys have done over the Christmas holidays. But it's important to get that body moving again. Feeling it back to normal. Make sure you're obviously wearing appropriate footwear as well. It's okay if you're doing it in bare feet, as long as you feel nice and supported underneath your feet. A couple of star jumps as well. Just to get that heart rate up, get your joints moving again. Think about those angles, think about the knees, the hips, the shoulders, and the elbows. Okay, some lunges. Really think about moving forward. Trying to bring that knee too far over the front of the foot. Trying to keep that back as much as possible. Nice and straight. Shoulders back, not think too much about bleeding over too much. You're jumping lunges as well. Really using the arms, alternate arms to the leg. A few squats, up. Again, same movement, trying to keep our back nice and straight, shoulders back as well. Doesn't matter if your knees go a little bit over your toe, but if you don't want to go too far over. We really think about using those squats. Okay, a few arm swings. Going forward first, really rotating around the shoulder, getting that ball and socket joint working. And then back. So you should start to feel immediate effects of exercise here. So your breathing rate is starting to increase. Blood flow is going around the body. I already noticed my temperature rising. All of the three things that we're looking for. Okay. Stretch out any injuries you've got and remember to make sure you ask your parents or whoever's at home to make sure you can join in with this activity. So I've got a few, a bit of a tight shoulder. So I'm just going to stretch out my shoulder joint, make sure we're doing it properly. And the other side as well. And I've got a little bit of a tight hamstring as well, so I'm just going to stretch that out. Just going to lean that leg forward, hold here for about 10 seconds. Stop the other leg. Okay, all right, so the five exercises I'm gonna take you through. First one, nice and easy, and this circuit is really easy because it's just the first one we're doing just to get yourself settled in after Christmas. So the first one is high knees. If you're really good, you're gonna take your knees up a little bit higher, but otherwise, just getting them off the ground, using your arms, will be absolutely fine. Second exercise, we're gonna do a press up. So you should know your press ups on your PE lessons. So the idea is, we've got our mat here. It's up to you, you can either go onto your knees, make sure you've got a little bit of padding for your knees. Make sure you go onto your knees, your hands should be underneath your shoulders. And we can do a basic press up like this, and back up again. Or you can do a full press up, which I know some of you, well many of you can do at home. So again, making sure we keep our back nice and straight, no dipping of the back, not too raised. Keeping it nice and tucked in with our core as well. And all we're going to do is again go down, shoulders to our hands, and back up again. Don't look too far back, don't look too far forward. Nice neutral spine going all the way back. If you can't do that, again, just to make it a little bit easier for you, if you've got a chair or a sofa at home, place your hands onto the chair. And again, all we're doing here is just leaning into the chair, just go down and back up again. If you want to make that even easier, all you do. Bring your feet in a little bit, and then down, and back up. Next exercise, third one, star jumps. Again, nice and easy. If you want to make this even harder, 
you can go to jumping jacks or whatever to make it even more strenuous. Fourth exercise, we've got our squats. So again, we did this earlier in our warm up. What I'm going to do is go down and back up again. Looking for a 90 degree bend. If you want to go a little bit lower than your 90 degrees, then you can, but I don't want you to go all the way to the floor. Be careful again to make sure your knees aren't going too far over your toe. And again, if you want to make that harder, you can do it into a squat, into a jump. Make sure you get the timing right for your arms. Okay, last one, straight leg sit-ups. Some of you might have done this before, some of you might not have. All we're going to do is you lie back flat, arms go over your head, make sure you tuck in your belly button into your core, and your back should be nice and flat on the floor. So if you get your hand placed underneath your back, you shouldn't really feel much of a gap there. So as you go back, nice and flat, keep contracting your core, come up nice and straight, and then back out again. Keep that core nice and tucked in. Down, and back up. Okay, so, that's our five exercises. Like I said, we're gonna work 40 seconds, then we're gonna have a 20 second break, and then we're gonna have a two minute rest, and where you can get some water, and you can do a little bit of walk around. After that, we do it another two times. That's three in total. So here we go. If you wanna set up some music yourself, you can do. I haven't put any music in the background, because I know everyone's got their own taste in music. So I'm just listening to nothing at the moment, but please feel free to put your own music on in the background. You will hear a buzzer to start, and there'll be another bell to stop when the 40 seconds are over, and then you'll hear the timer again, ready to start the new exercise. So, guys, are you ready to get started? I think so. So, let's start off then. Are you ready? So we're starting off with our high knees. Get into your movement. Nice and ready. Timer starts. Now, 40 seconds work. Stay nice and relaxed. On the shoulders. Knees coming off the ground. All the back coming from the hip action. Keep looking ahead. Come on down, everybody. Keep going. 40 seconds is quite a long time. 10 seconds left. Going, well done. Three, two, one, stop. Okay, next one, we've got our press ups. So, again, you've got your three different options. You can use the chair, remember, you can use it straight onto the floor. Your choice, it's totally up to you. Just make sure you're working hard. We we'll want to try and get the heart rate up. And my heart rate is definitely up right now. So, ready? Off you go. So, remember, Full press up, shoulders to hands, or bending your knees, shoulders to hands. Your choice, or again, remember, you can go to the chair, keep the inner of it down as much as you can go. Really focusing on our triceps and biceps here. Keep going, you've got 10 seconds left. So biceps and triceps are really working hard there. Make sure, you, again, you're keeping that core nice and tucked in when you're doing your press-ups. Okay, next one. I like this one. We've got star jumps. Okay, so again, you can make it harder if you want to. Proper star jumps, jumping in the air. Off you go. Just getting us back after Christmas. Feeling good. Come on, everybody. Okay. Heart rate's still rising. Definitely warm now. Some of you might know this from GCC. We've got our types of movement happening at the shoulder. Abduction and adduction. Here, going out and in. We've also got the same going on at our hip as well. Out and in. Okay, let's stop. Okay, next one, our squats. Okay. So.
Really important, everybody. Make sure you take your jewelry off after Christmas. Okay, so squats. So again, down and up. Not going too far down. Making sure you're using the arms correctly. Again, from the side here, down and up. Again, make sure we're not going too low, but a good 90 degree bend is good. It doesn't matter if our knees go too far over our toe. Just keep our shoulders back and our back nice and straight, not dipped. Again, add the jumps if you want to as well. Make it a bit harder. Really working our quads here. For the run. Five seconds left. And stop. Okay, next one. Straight leg sit up. So, we're working on our abdominal muscles here. Really, really focusing on our core. Make sure again you've got that tummy tucked in and your back is nice and flat to the floor. Okay, we've got five seconds. Ready? And go. Back. Up. And if you're really good, you're going to count how many you're doing to see if you can beat it on the next time you repeat it. So on the next one, I'm going to ask you to count and see how many you're doing. And in the last set, we can see if we can beat that score. And you can try and see if you can beat me as well. Ten seconds left. Come on, everybody. Keep going. Really feeling it in your core now. Really feeling it there. Three, two, one, and stop. Okay. We've got a little bit of a rest now. So we've got a rest for just about two minutes. So I'm going to turn that on my phone. So what, in the, what we need to do in the break now is to either go for a walk, just around your living room, get your breath back a little bit, you're feeling a little bit out of breath. I'm not feeling too bad at the moment. And obviously make sure you drink plenty of water, okay? Hydration is really, really important to keep our body functioning. So take plenty of water today. Now make sure you take it throughout the day as well. And if I don't, don't remember at the end of the session, make sure you also do lots of stretching this afternoon, okay? Because it might be the first workout you've done since before Christmas. So we've had 40 seconds, so go for a walk. Or even if you want to challenge yourself, you might want to go for a little jog. It depends what level of fitness you are. And if you know how to make the exercises harder, why not make the exercises harder as well? So if you know how to make a squat jump harder, how do you make it harder? That's your choice. Everyone's going to be different levels at home. So it's totally up to you how, about you, how you go about doing it. So we've had one minute and ten seconds. Still a little bit longer left. And like I said, we're going to repeat this another two times. And this circuit's pretty easy for today. Like I said, it's going to get harder throughout the week. This is just an introduction for all of you. And if you have any ideas about how to make this circuit even harder, please comment on the classroom. We'd love to add in some of your favourite exercises. And if you'd like to have a go at trying to do one, a video yourself, please also do one and send it in to us in the school section. We'd also really like to see those. Okay. Now we're almost there. Get moving again. Okay, so remember the first exercise. We're going to do high knees. Okay, set my timer again. All right. Hopefully you've got some good music on in the background. Are you ready, guys? So high knees. Off you go. Getting my knees up a little bit higher on this one. Make sure you're counting. I haven't started counting my high knees yet. I should have done. Keep going. 15 seconds left. Come on, everybody. Seconds left. See if you can beat me. 
Okay. Good. Keep the breathing going. Twenty. Twenty-seven. Keep hard down. Start jumps for me. I might challenge myself on the third one to do some jumping jacks. Okay, here we go. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty-six. Come on. I'm just going to turn that on my watch. You haven't got enough water? Run out to the kitchen now, get a glass of water. Just sip it though, don't have too much. Or it'll be jumping around our system. So, a little snippet. Hopefully, you're feeling good, not too tired. Like I said, it's not meant to be too difficult today. And remember, give some likes, give some comments. Let us know what we can do to improve on our circuits as well. And any exercises you think you want us to add. So, doing well, we've got 40 seconds, just under a minute gone. I'm not feeling too bad. A little bit of a tight shoulder. Remember, go for a walk if you need to as well. Get some fresh air outside during the break. It's a little bit cold out there today. It's 
it's really important to get outside. If you don't do this type of exercise today or tomorrow, then make sure you get out for a walk. Even 15 minutes to half an hour is a really, really good way to get out and do some sort of fitness. So you get out for a walk every day for 15 minutes. That's really helpful. If you can do longer, then great. Cycle ride, run, walk with the family, really, really important. Some of you might not like doing this hit session, and that's okay, because not everyone, everybody does. So, we've got just under 30 seconds, and don't forget this is our last one. So can you beat the scores that you got on your previous time you had to go at this activity? All right? Okay, we're almost there. About five seconds to start. Are you ready? Last one. So you've got, what means you've got to work really hard. I'm going to try and call out the last 10 seconds. So in the last 10 seconds, really, really push it and give it a go. So, are you ready? High needs to start. Off you go. that time that was really hard for me I was trying to really push all the way through to the last 10 seconds but it's really making you work hard so next one star jumps are you ready guys I'm sure you're doing really well at home really good okay here we go go two Here we go. 
Okay, third position, remember your core. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Come on. Sixteen. Come on, everybody. I've got a little bit of a sore knee, so I just need to make sure I really stretch out the hamstring because my hamstring's a bit tight. Make sure I stretch out my quad as well. Make sure I'm holding that stretch nice, 10 seconds, and my shoulder muscles as well. Try to get your heart rate back down, what you can. That's what a cool down is all about. Try and get our heart rate back down to normal level. So what it would be when we're resting. Okay, let's just take your shoulders. On the inside. Okay, make sure you have plenty of fluid throughout the day. Make sure you get plenty of rest. Make sure you get to bed on time. Make sure you're doing all your work. Honestly, the workout will really help you concentrate with all your schoolwork as well. So make sure you're doing it. Thank you everybody. Look out for the next exercise. Well done. Good job.